hello so now we're going to be looking at profit and loss percent also referred to as percentage profit and loss so what does profit and loss mean profit just represents the financial gain while loss represents the financial loss and what does this mean in play terms let's imagine you have an orange and you bought the orange for five naira so that means the cost price is five naira now you want to sell this orange so you are willing to sell the orange for ten naira so if you're able to sell the orange for ten naira you can see that your selling price is greater than your cost price so yeah you are making a profit and your profit is what your selling price minus your cost price which is 10 minus 5 which is equal to 5 naira so your profit is 5 naira however if you sell the price if you sell the orange for say 2 naira maybe the orange became spoiled and you have to sell it at lower price than you bought it in this case your selling price is less than your cost price so you are making a loss and your loss in this case is given by your cost price minus your selling price which is what in this case 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3 naira so your loss is 3 naira so now let's look at the formula that we use to calculate it in percentage so now we know how to calculate it the profit and the loss but how do we express it in terms of percentage that is what this is about so now the percentage profit is given as the selling price minus the cost price over the cost price times 100 this term up this numerator just represents the profit as we have discussed before the profit is equal to the selling price minus the cost price because the selling price is greater than the cost price for the percentage loss you have the loss over the cost price times 100 and your loss is given by what your cost price minus your selling price cost price minus selling price so one thing to observe and be careful of is that the denominator in both formula is always the cost price so never make a mistake of putting the selling price in the denominator the denominator is always the cost price so in terms of percentage profit cost of the profit over the cost price times 100 why in percentage loss it goes to the loss over the cost price times 100 so how do you apply this to solve questions let's take a quick look at some examples example one a dealer buys a car for 2 million naira and sells it for 2.2 million find its percentage profit so now we can see that the selling price is greater than the cost price is is buying it he bought it for 2 million and he's selling it for 2.2 so 2.2 is greater than 2 so he's making a profit and as you have explained our percentage profit is equal to what the profit over the cost price times 100 and now we know that profit in this case will be what the selling price minus the cost price yeah, over the cost price times 100 then we can simplify it the selling price is 2.2 million the cost price is 2 million and the cost price is 2 million then times 100 so that will give me what 0.2 over 2 times 100 so the percentage profit will be equals to 10 percent very simple so let's check out another example so this example is actually a past question from jam so i want you to pay good attention to it as you will observe most questions in jam might not come pretty straightforward so it require you to do some thinking like in this example a trader bought goods for four thousand naira each so we know we know that i bought particular number of goods we don't know the amount of goods he bought but we know that 
he bought goods and the price of each goods is 4,000 Naira. Then he sold them for 180,000. So all the goods he bought, he sold them for what? 180,000. So we know that his selling price is what? 180,000. At a loss of 25%. So we know that he made a loss. So he sold it at a price that was lower than his cost price. So now we know that his loss is equal to what? 25%. Question says, how many goods did he buy? So how do we go about with this? So the first thing to do is to calculate the cost price or the amount in which he bought the total number of goods. So we know that our percentage loss is equal to the loss over the cost price times 100. So our percentage loss, we know that the loss is going to be the cost price minus the selling price because the cost price greater than the selling price then over the selling the cost price times 100. So we can substitute what we know to, to find the selling price. So we know that 25, which is the loss, is equal to we are finding the cost price and we know that our selling price is 180,000 then over the cost price times 100. So I can divide both sides by 100 and when I do that, I take away this 100 and I have this. So 25 over 100 will give me 0 0.25 is equals to CP minus 180,000 over my cost price then i can cross multiply so i have 0.25 cp is equals to cp minus 180,000. so i can bring this to the other side or i can call it like times so i have 0.25 cp minus cp is equals to minus 180,000. So this minus this will give me minus 0.75 CP to be equal to minus 180,000. Now I can divide both sides by minus 0.75. And that gives me that the cost price is equal to 240,000 Naira. So now we know that the cost of all the goods he bought is 240,000 Naira and we are told that he bought each good for 4,000 Naira. So how do we now calculate the total number of goods he bought? So the number of goods he bought, number of goods will just be the total amount that I paid for the goods divided by what the price for each of the goods and when we do that we find that four year will go here so we are left with four in 24 is six so we're left with 60 so we can see that he bought 60 goods so to recap what did we do we first tried to calculate the cost price the price that it cost to buy all the goods that i bought so we substituted it in the formula for our percentage loss and we we're able to get the cost price as 240,000 Naira. So now we know that it bought all the goods for 240,000 Naira and we know that the price for each good is 4,000 Naira. So it's just a question of saying how many goods can I buy for 240,000 Naira if each good costs 4,000 Naira. And the way to get this number is by dividing the total price he paid for the goods by the price of each good, and we get 60. So the total number of goods that I bought is 60 goods. So this pretty much sums up how to think about percentage profit and loss.